This video shows femoral nerve mobilisation. Femoral nerve impingement can cause symptoms such as pain, tingling and numbness in the front of your thigh or hip and going down towards your leg. To test the femoral nerve, you want to pull your heel towards your bottom and if you feel any of the symptoms like tingling or pain rather than just a normal stretch, it can be a sign of femoral nerve impingement. To test it as well, you can change the symptoms by moving your head up and down and this can often affect symptoms. You can also get weakness in your hip and knee and this can be especially apparent when going up or down stairs. You can also test this and treat this over the end of a bed or a plinth. So by having your knee bent, you stretch the femoral nerve at that end of your body and then you can dip your head down to stretch the nerve and then bring it back up to shorten the nerve and this is a way of testing it and treating it. You can also do the same with resting on your arms. So you bring your leg up again to stretch the nerve at that end of the body and you can drop your head down to elongate the nerve and bring it back up to shorten the nerve and this will have the effect of mobilising the nerve and getting the nerve used to moving which can decrease its sensitivity. To treat the femoral nerve you can do what's called tensioners or flossing. So the first part shown here is a tensioner where you bring your leg up and move your head down to elongate the nerve at both ends and then shorten it by doing the opposite. The second part shown is called flossing where you drop your head down to elongate it at one end and as you lengthen it by bringing the knee or bending the knee you raise your head up so it shortens it at one end and lengthens at the other. You want to do these treatments at least once a day while you have symptoms and do two to three sets of 30 seconds with a 10 to 15 second break in between so you don't do it too much and oversensitize the nerve. 